Here we are down on Crescent Road as we look down towards number 21. We can see it originally was a three bed and it has been extended to add another bathroom, a bedroom, garage downstairs, also utility. As we come on up, you can see down behind us, we've got the Pig and Whistle pub. We then look back towards the town park. As we continue along, we look towards the town centre that could be reached in around about a 20 minute walk. As we continue on around, we look down towards the Sandridge Road. Uh, just at the top of Church Lane though is where we have the co-op. That's going to be around about a 10 minute walk. Very easy to get to. As we continue on around, we've got another co-op in the distance along with the Forest and Sandridge School. So we continue on down, we have a look towards Savanac Avenue. And of course, that's where we have the edge of town and the open green fields, as you can see. Ideal for taking your dog for a walk or maybe if you want to go out for a walk with the family. But you can see there's plenty of them. That's where it takes you down to Woodrow Road. And Woodrow Road is the old road to go out towards Laycock, which is over in the distance. As we continue on round, you can see then that we turn back towards the River Avon and over towards Beenacre. And that's where we come round to the far side of Melksham, where we have leaks. But that's where we're going to head on in. See, we've come on through and into a front hallway section. We've got plenty of space for coats and shoes, frosted window to the front, and then there is our front door. We have a secondary area. We see we've got tile flooring, radiator, stairs up to the first floor, where we're coming through into the living room. Or on the left, we have a three-seater sofa. We turn around to the focal point of the fireplace. You see we've got a wall-mounted television there too. We've got another two-seater sofa there, and of course our windows out to the front. We have a radiator down behind that sofa as well. There's a quick view out to the front, out to the driveway. And we'll pan round and come on through into the kitchen diner. We've got the old chimney breast there, a couple of units. We've got space for an American style fridge freezer, double doors out into the family room. You see the tiling continuum where we have a mix of base and eye level units. You can see our doorway through to the utility. A window out towards the rear. We've got a stainless steel sink unit, single drain mix tap, space for a dishwasher, and you can see here we've got space for a range with extract hood over the top. As we then come on through, we're coming into the family room, which was originally conservatory, it's now got a solid roof. You can see we have a six-seater sofa here. In the corner, we have an electric fire, windows out to the side and to the rear, space for a to see the sofa here, a couple of units in the corner. You can see a really nice size room, could be used for a mix of reasons. There's a view up to the garden. If we continue back on through the kitchen, we're gonna come through it into the utility. So we've got a door out to the rear, window, radiator, space for a washing machine, new wall mounted boiler. We've got a tumble dryer just there. And of course we have our door through to the garage. But we'll head on upstairs and we're going to come up to the top and we are going to take a left and go on into the extension so you see we're coming through into bedroom number two so a good size double you see we've got a unit in the corner just down next to the radiator and window so you pan back across you see we've got wardrobe tucked away in the corner and a further unit there so a decent sized double bedroom overall there is a quick view out to the front we'll then make our way past our little friend and of course, we're coming into the bathroom. So we've got a vanity wash hand basin with tile splashbacks, low level WC, heated tower, window to the rear. And then of course, we're coming around to the bath. We see we've got a shower curtain and electric shower. We'll then hop on down and come on to the original section of the house. But we're going to start in the smallest bedroom. So bedroom number four. So you see here, we've got a single bed in here currently, plenty of units in here too. In fact, we've got a large set of wardrobes down behind the door. There's another quick look out to the front. We will continue on round, 
coming through into bedroom number one next. We can see is another good size room. We've got a chimney breast coming up. We've got a double bed here in the corner. Plenty of units all the way around. So we've got windows front. There's our radiator too. As we continue around, our friend is following us. You can see we've got a wardrobe and a chest of drawers just tucked away down in the corner. Another quick view out to the front. We will continue on round. And of course, we're going to go into bedroom number three. So you see here, we've got a double bed on the left, windows out to the rear, got radiator, cupboard in the corner, desk unit here too. So not a bad size room overall. Of course, you can reorientate this should you want to. So you pan across. There is our first view out towards the rear from upstairs. And we're going to finish off internally by coming on through into the shower room. So low level WC, pedestal wash and basement, tile splashback, frosted window, radiator. And in the corner here, we have a shower enclosure with a main shower. Coming out to the garden, you can see we've come onto the patio. You see we've got a covered area just here off the back of the kitchen. We've got an outside tap. So you turn around to the left, you see we've got our side exits around to the front. We've got a really good sized garden. So we've got a pair of seating areas, one there on the left, one just here on the right hand side. We've got a small wall here that takes us on down onto a little gravel path. And we have the start of the lawn. See where we've got some borders on either side. We've got a shed and what looks like a hutch. Continuing on down to the lawn. You see here, we've got a further border here on the left hand side, followed by a greenhouse. And then we've got a few sheds down at the far end, as you can see. We also have a rear access down the bottom. As we pan around and look back towards the front, see just how much space you've got. Lots of flexibility here, but that's where we leave it for today for 21 Crescent Road.